Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to sort and arrange descending order using built-in functions. Let's say there is an array which looks like this and this array has several integer elements. Now we need to sort these array elements in descending order. So once you sort this array in descending order, you'll get this output guys, the biggest number first, then the next uh, list number that is eight. Then we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So it will be like this guys, starting from the largest number to the lowest number we have to go. Seven, six, five, four, then three, then two, then one. So this should be the output guys. Once you sort this array in descending order, we should get this output. Now using built-in function, we have to get this output. How to do that? For that, let me practically demonstrate. Let's say this is an integer array that we have to sort in descending order. So in order to sort this array, we generally call a predefined method or built-in method of the arrays class that is sort method. Arrays dot sort. Here we need to pass the array that need to be sorted. But guys, this statement arrays dot sort of the array statement won't start in this won't sort in descending order. It will start in ascending order. This statement is for ascending order, guys, not descending order. But how to convert this statement so that this statement can sort this array in descending order? How to how to convert this statement for getting the output in descending order? For that simple guess, what we have to do is here we have to say AR comma collections dot reverse order. We need to call this reverse order predefined method of the collections class as the second argument inside this sort. Okay. So if you don't provide this, this sort will sort this array in ascending order. But in order to sort in descending order, apart from this array, we have to put a comma and provide one more argument, which has this comparator. Comparator is this one, guys. This is called as comparator. So we have to call this collections dot reverse order. But guys, once you provide the second argument here for sorting this array in descending order, you are getting an error here. For this sort method, there is an error coming. The problem here is because of this integer array. Okay. When you when you use collections dot reverse order, you cannot pass integer normal primitive data type integer array here is not acceptable. We need to convert this integer array into like this case. We need to provide the wrapper. Okay. Instead of int primitive data type, we have to provide the integer wrapper class. Okay. This integer array of wrapper type and once you you see once you change from primitive type to the associated integer wrapper class array type you see the error is gone fine these are the ways guys okay so the array it has to be it has to be sorted in descending order for that we need to add this collections dot reverse order once you add you'll get an error to overcome that error we have to convert this primitive type to the wrapper class type then the error will be resolved now let's print out this array guys to see whether the statement has really sorted this array in descending order or not. Let's see that for that I'll say system dot out dot print ln. But here the print ln statement cannot directly print this array guys. Okay. You cannot directly print the array like this. So before actually printing this array, we have to convert this array into string. How to convert an array into string for that again, we have to call a predefined method of the array class that is true string method. This two string method of the arrays class will convert the given array into string type. Then once it got converted into string, you can use println to print the array. Okay. Now like this case. Now let's run the code. In the output, we should get the descending sorted array. Okay. In the output, we should get the array which is sorted in descending order. Run this. You see, we got the output. As you can see, the biggest number, largest number is on the beginning and the next uh, biggest then the next biggest sign keep on going to the smaller number. So that means the array got sorted in descending order now. So hope guys you understood how to write a Java program to sort an array in descending order using built-in functions. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.